In this video, we're going to talk about the root test. So let's take the limit as n goes to infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of the sequence a sub n. Now, if the limit is less than 1, what this means is that the series converges. If the limit is greater than 1, or if it goes to, let's say, infinity, then the series diverges. Finally, if the limit is equal to 1, then the results are inconclusive. And so that's what you need to know for the root test. So let's work on some examples. Let's start with this one. So let's say we have the series from 1 to infinity of 1 divided by 4 raised to the n. So go ahead and use the root test to determine if the series will converge or if it will diverge. So let's take the limit as n goes to infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of a sub n. So a sub n is what we see here. It's 1 over 4 to the n. And so we're going to be taking the limit of the nth root, or you could say, basically, a sub n raised to the 1 over n. That's the same as writing the nth root of a sub n. Now, 1 raised to anything is just going to be 1. But 4 to the n raised to the 1 over n, whenever you raise one exponent by another, you need to multiply the two exponents. So n times 1 over n is just 1. So this is going to be 1 fourth. Now, 1 fourth is less than 1. So therefore, we can say that this series converges by the root test. Now, let's move on to our second example. And so let's say we have 3 plus 5n divided by 2 plus 3n. And we're going to say all of this is raised to the nth power. Go ahead and use the root test. Determine if the series is going to converge, diverge, or if it's inconclusive. So let's take the limit as n goes to infinity of the absolute value of a sub n, but we're going to raise it to the 1 over n. The best time to use the root test is if you have a series that's raised to the nth power. Because when you raise it to the 1 over n power, n and 1 over n will cancel. So now all we have left over is just the limit as n goes to infinity of 3 plus 5n divided by 2 plus 3n. So now let's use L'Hopital's rule. Let's take the derivative of the top and of the bottom. So we're going to get the limit as n goes to infinity. The derivative of 3 plus 5n is just 5, and the derivative of 2 plus 3n is 3. So our final answer is just 5 over 3. And 5 over 3 is greater than 1, so this tells us that the series diverges. Now let's try this one. So let's say we have 1 over n squared plus 1 over n raised to the n. So go ahead and apply the root test to this particular series. So let's take the limit as n goes to infinity. And let's raise this to the 1 over n power. So just like the other two examples, those two will cancel. And so we're going to get the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 over n squared plus 1 over n. And we can see that when n becomes very large, 1 over n squared goes to 0. And 1 over n also goes to 0. So the limit is 0. And 0 is less than 1. 
so therefore the original series converges. Now let's move on to our fourth example problem. So it's going to be n raised to the n divided by 2 raised to the 1 plus 4n. So let's supply the root test to it. So let's raise it to the 1 over n power. Now before we apply this exponent, let's simplify a sub n. So 2 raised to the 1 plus 4n, that's 2 to the 1 times 2 to the 4n. Now 2 to the 4n, that's basically 2 to the 4 raised to the n. And 2 to the 4th power is 16. So now what we have is 16 raised to the n. So what I'm going to do is take this 2 and move it outside of the absolute value expression. So it's going to be 1 half times the limit as n goes to infinity. And because n and the 16, they both have the same exponent, that is n. I can write it like this now. So it's going to be n over 16 raised to the n. So n times 1 over n, those two will cancel. So I'm going to get 1 half times the limit as n goes to infinity of n divided by 16. Now when n becomes very large, n over 16 is going to go to infinity. But if you want to, you can take the 16 and move it out. So 1 over 16 times 1 over 2, that's going to be 1 over 32. But then we have the limit as n goes to infinity, absolute value of n. So that's 1 over 32 times infinity. So that's going to be infinity. So since we have infinity for the result of our limit, we could say that the original series diverges. Now let's move on to the next problem. So let's say it's n divided by 2 raised to the n. Will the series converge or will it diverge? So using the root test, we're going to raise it to the 1 over n power. So I'm going to distribute this exponent to each exponent inside the absolute value expression separately. So I'm going to have 1 times 1 over n, which is going to be n raised to the 1 over n, and then 2 to the n raised to the 1 over n. We need to multiply these two. n times 1 over n is just 1. So I can take the 2 and move it to the front. So I now have 1 half the limit as n goes to infinity, n raised to the 1 over n. So how can I evaluate this limit? What's infinity raised to the 1 of infinity? Which becomes like infinity raised to the 0 power. Is that 1? Is that infinity? Or is that a number? Well, let's find out. So I'm going to say that y is equal to this expression. So our goal is to calculate the value of y. Now, n raised to the 1 over n, that's going to be positive, so I'm not going to worry about the absolute value expression. What we need to do at this point is take the natural log of both sides. This allows us to take the exponent and move it to the front. So I'm going to have ln y is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity, 1 over n times the natural log of n. So I'm going to rewrite it like this. So this is the natural log of n 
divided by n. Now we can use L'Hopital's rule. So the derivative of the natural log of n is 1 over n, and the derivative of n is just 1. So now we're left with this expression. ln y is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 over n. So 1 over n is going to approach 0. So ln y is equal to 0. And we have the base e. So e raised to the 0 is equal to y. Anything raised to the 0 power is 1, so we can say that y is 1. So going back to our expression, 1 half times the limit as n approaches infinity for n to the 1 over n. So this part we set equal to y, and y is equal to 1. So now let's replace that expression with 1. So this is going to be 1 half times 1, which is just 1 half, and that's less than 1. So therefore, the original series is convergent based on the root test. Let's work on one more example. So let's say if we have negative 1 raised to the n times 3 raised to the n plus 2 divided by n minus 1 raised to the n. Go ahead and try that. So let's take the limit as n goes to infinity of the absolute value of a sub n raised to the 1 over n. Now, once we take the absolute value of this expression, the alternating series with the negative 1 to the n term, that's going to be insignificant. So that will disappear. Everything will become positive. So then the absolute value of a sub n, it's really 3 to the n plus 2 divided by n minus 1 raised to the n. We can just get rid of this term. So 3 to the n plus 2, let's write that as 3 to the n times 3 squared. Now, 3 squared is 9. So we're going to have the limit as n goes to infinity. And then we're going to have a 9. And then we can write 3 over n minus 1 raised to the n power because they both share this exponent. And all of this is raised to the 1 over n. Now let's distribute this exponent to the 9 and to the exponent on the bracket inside. So we're going to have the limit as n goes to infinity. And then this is going to be 9 raised to the 1 over n. And then these will cancel. And so we're just going to have times 3 divided by n minus 1. So now let's separate the limit into two separate limits. So this is going to be equal to the limit as n goes to infinity, 9 raised to the 1 over n times the limit as n goes to infinity of 3 divided by n minus 1. So 9 raised to the 1 over n, we know that when n gets very large, 1 over n goes to 0. So this is going to be 9 to the 0. And then 3 over n minus 1. So 3 over infinity, that's basically 0. So 9 to the 0 power is 1. 1 times 0 is 0. So 0 is less than 1. Therefore, the original series converges. And that's the answer.